Here. Hi, I'm Sharon Rose Masters, Stevie Chung. And I'm Patricia Ong. And this is how... <laughs> Hi everyone, Sharon Rose Master, Stevie Chung. And Patricia Ong, Sharon Rose Master. And this is our journey. Hi everyone, my name is Stevie Chung and I'm a Sharon Rose Master. Hello everyone, I'm Patricia Ong, I'm a Sharon Rose Master. From Singapore, I'm from Singapore and... I'm from Malaysia. 40 that years ago. That shows our age, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I, okay, let's speak for myself. I won't talk for her, okay? For me, I, I have been trained to wake up to an alarm. So if an alarm goes, I will wake up and start doing what I need to do. But given no alarm, I would sleep for as long as I can. That's me. I think I'm a night owl. I think so. Because um, I'm not sure whether because of the nature of my work, in the past that has, that has brought me to that, to that way. Uh, one of the things that uh, I like to get to go to sleep whenever I want, and then I want to get up whenever I want. So I just hate the alarm. Hate it. <laughs> well, first thing I do, I check my points. <laughs> Am I matching today? <laughs> That's what I do. And yeah, like, like, like him, I, I try not to waste my time, um, you know, so when I'm in the washroom, yeah, I'm reading, checking my points, doing this, doing that. So I kind of like try to do the catch up and be ahead of my schedule a little bit for the day. Work more with technology. I guess that's, that's the pandemic has changed that. So I've been trying to understand more about Zoom and its background and what I need to do to uh, improve the uh, capacity for me to be uh, being able to show Zoom, uh, to do different things through Zoom. So that's my interest right now. I am doing Atomy too slowly for her. Hurry up, hurry up. I should have to do it faster. <laughs> hurry up. <laughs> I, maybe it's my personality, I don't get stressed very easily. So even if something comes up that stresses me, uh, what I normally would do is either I go for a walk or spend some time alone, or I take it out on video games, uh, play a video game, get rid of the stress. How to release my stress? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Right now is uh, anything that's channel atomy, anything that is atomy related. Those are the main videos yeah. that we watch now. I think yeah. both of us do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll scout through different countries' YouTube channels yeah. uh, just to see what's happening because there are so many things to learn from different countries. Hangyu yeah. Park, not, not any other park that I know uh, because he is a fascinating man. I like to sit down and talk to him and chat with him and just understand what's going on in his mind to, to, to be able to take a lot of information off him. For me, family, that's most important because especially in the pandemic, we hardly see each other because, you know, they have their own restrictions. Many. Many, yeah. Many. Uh, we have many families that we treasure um, from the time when the kids were born. I mean, those were treasured memories. Mm -hmm. Times when we were able to cruise every, practically every year, go for a cruise, those were treasured memories. 
times when we were able to uh, just work together on the business right now with Atomy mm -hmm. is, uh, is, is, a, is a good treasure for us right now. Being able to work as a couple with different strengths. So she does, so you notice she said that she check all the numbers in the morning and I sleep. <laughs> and then after that, she asked me, how are the numbers going to come in? So <laughs> then I do the work to get the numbers. Uh, so that's, that's how we work together. And those are cherished moments to be able to actually share, not just in, in our personal lives, but in a work that will bring a future to our children and so on. I guess my cherished memories would be the time that I spend with my children and uh, it's usually vacation time with them because especially when they go into school and you know, they're so stressed and all that and uh, I remember one time that my younger son and I was just kind of like I was a little bit maybe a little bit upset with him and I said you know what not going on vacation this year and he says no mom I need it there's a time for vacation. I need it. <laughs> so it was something that really has stuck with me. And uh, they really look forward to the, to the time of vacation with us too. So it was really like, you know, our vacation time. I wish Atomy was here 20 years ago. Seriously. Seriously, yeah. I, I really wish it was. Yeah, besides Atomy changing 20 years ago, uh, not really that much I would have changed for my own life. I think I have journeyed through a series of experiences. Did I have any regrets? Even if I had, I, don't, I think the outcome of the regrets turned out to be more worthwhile uh, than not have lived through those regrets. So for me is that, uh, would there be anything I would change? There are times when I thought that I would want to change everything that was in my past. Then I realized that it was my past that made me into what I am now. Am I better than before? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did a count one time. So in terms of experiencing, probably 20. Even my wife don't even know about it, but about 20. <laughs> my first impression was Atomy was that it was too good to be true. That's my first impression. Maybe because I understood MLM companies and the structure. When I saw Atomy, I said, this is too good to be true. There must be something in the products that will make me continue to need, need to use it over and over again. I can't, I can't stop using it because I don't have a choice. Now it's that I choose to use it because it's really, really good for me. So actually it was almost close to about five years that we didn't touch anything. We know that they're good products, so we will probably just look at the products and use the pro those good products only. You know, but when we started using the products, we kind of liked the products and found that it was good. Not only just good, but the price point is also very good. And that's got us curious. And that was when, I have to say that when I first met Atomy, I was the first one who met it. He didn't know about it. I didn't want to tell him that we were using MLM products. So things started changing at home, you know. The brand start changing. You see more and more Atomy stuff in the house. So he's, 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 he was asking me, what's this all about? I said, just use it. Don't ask questions. Just use it. Don't bother. Just, just use it. And because we, we have come to agreement that we're not going to do an MLM, right? But we did. So it was almost about six or seven months later that I dragged him into Atomy and was through success. Products-wise or anything? For me, the, the thing about Atomy that I love best is that it is not just a company that is there to, to, to earn money for itself. It is actually a company that helps everyone, whoever they are, to have an opportunity to succeed. It's not only in being a contractor that person can succeed, even as an employee. 
uh, there's opportunity for each employee to grow to the point that they want to be. And that's what I see, I love about Atomy, is the ability for each person to find who they are, rather than just you know, follow everybody else, do what they want to do. That's my view. So our role have changed. In the beginning, when we started, we were just trying to build consumers. So we were recruiting people. It grew to become a management thing, but management is very different. It is not telling people what to do, mm -hmm. but a management style that requires us to influence people. And that's really the harder part, right? You're influencing people to do what they need to do. Then the next step that we are trying to do now is duplicating ourselves. And to duplicate ourselves, one of the biggest things we need to be aware of is whether we are duplicating a good product or a similar bad product that we could duplicate. So that's the challenge that we are doing. And as we move on, we want to be able to at least help others as we grow in the next position to help others to be able to become good duplicators to, to, so that they themselves, uh, we can guide them to, to watch out for the difficult things in their uh, duplication journey. The, uh, for me, is that uh, for, for people who want to do atomy, the first thing is that I'm not going to say that it's easy. I'm not going to say that it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I've seen people who have been do atomy as though it's the easiest thing and, 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 and yeah. become successful. There are those that are there. There are those that really struggle. But for me, it's the encouragement to everyone is, I could say that just keep going. That's why we say, oh, oh, don't give up, don't give up. Mm -hmm. But why are you not giving up? And I tell people the biggest encouragement for yourself is if you cannot find your why in atomy, if you don't know why you do it, then don't bother. You, you, you are really not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. But for you, you, the encouragement to you is to find your why. Why can Atomy help you achieve your goals? And maybe to the extent of how can Atomy be the one that gives you your goals? If you can link those two together, your Atomy business will move.